Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be continuing with our testing fundamental series that is from becoming a software tester from zero to hero. So what we are going to do is we'll be continuing with the scenario based question, which is mostly asked in an interview. So this is the question that you would be asked. You are testing a mobile application that requires seamless integration with third party APIs. How would you ensure the reliability of the integration and handle any issues that arise during testing? So such kind of scenario based questions you might get in an interview, but how you should answer such kind of questions, because in the time of interview, it might happen. You would have faced such scenarios or you would not have faced such scenarios. So how to deal with such a kind of interview question that is very important. And it is also very important that you have a right selection of words in what you are speaking in the form of answer. So what I have done is I have broken the, down the answer in four pieces here, which if you will follow, you would be able to come up with the answer. And this is one of the tips and tricks as well for such kind of questions for scenario based questions that you might be getting. See now understand the scenario first. You are testing a mobile application. Now, many times people do tell me, oh, sir, I have I don't have any experience with mobile testing, how to deal with such question. I have only tested the web applications till now how to uh, answer such kind of question. So when you are getting this question, the point is, yes, of course, if you have done, you would be able to answer them. But if you would not have done, then still you have to answer from your analytical mindset. Right. So first is documentation. So that is the first and the foremost thing as a software tester. If you want to become a software tester, a successful software tester, if you want to have a long term career, like 20 years in software testing, then documentation is a key thing. So what we will do is we'll answer first from this perspective, from documentation perspective. See, documentation is important. And even if you have to test mobile application or web application or even a Windows based application, you will have to ha have to take the help of the documentation right now here. What is the question? The mobile application is integrating with a third party API. OK, so two things are coming into the picture. One is the reliability testing, how much the functionality is going to be reliable. Second is the integration testing. Now, many a times you might be seeing testing. You might be seeing the videos. OK, this is what the integration testing, the definition. But in this particular perspective, the interviewer wants you to answer, wants you to implement and wants you to tell the practical approach for integration testing, right? So that is very important. We are not talking about the bookish things. We are not talking about those kind of tutorials in which we'll see, okay, integration is this and this. But, but what from the real time perspective, real time testing interview question perspective that we will be seeing. So understanding the documentation that is provided by the API providers. Now, what are the documentations you would have heard about, heard about Swagger documentation in which you would be having API endpoints, you'll be having requests, you'll be having response, you'll be having those kind of methods, whether it is post, put, update, delete, get, all those things. So which are the endpoints, which are the parameters, what are the expected responses? You'll be first understanding the documentation. Next is to design the test cases. Now, when it comes to designing the test cases, you should cover both positive happy path as well as negative test cases. It is very important that you cover the negative because you have to think from a 360 degree. Just don't think 180 degree and come back and just tell, okay, some testers, what do they do? They will test happy path and they'll sign off the user story. They'll close the user story. And when the client is testing, then the client will tell, oh, you didn't test this scenario. Oh, you missed this flow. So you have to think from a 360 degree angle. You have to analyze from everything. Sometimes you might be doing positive testing and you might be signing off and you might be getting that stories done as well from the client end, from the UAT testing. But it is very important that you cover negative testing. So when you are designing test scenarios, you should include successful API calls. That is the API testing, right? The positive testing that I'm telling. Then the error handling. Okay. Error handling means what if this kind of error comes? What if this kind of, uh, uh, validation message comes it is 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 it that being handled or not the edge cases right the corner cases which we say right so those all things you have to cover from the different aspects everything you need to cover okay the third is perform testing so documentation designing is done 
performing the testing. So what you will do is you'll perform the testing. How you'll perform the testing? So as it's an API testing, you can use either Postman tool. You can use uh, this uh, console of your browser itself. You can hit F12 and you can see in the network tab, what is the response of that particular API? Is it getting 500? Is it getting 200 or 201 as the successful? Or is it getting some errors or 500? Or is it getting 401 unauthorized? So those kind of testing you have to do. You have to perform by hitting request of various uh, parameters and you have to see how good the response is, right? Then comes the communication. So with respect to communication, what you have to do is every time you have to keep your managers, your leads updated. So this is very important. So many times, you know, what happens is the company, the uh, that software testers, they'll keep on testing, they'll keep on testing, but they will not update their leads or their managers. So ultimately what happens when there is a uh, challenge or when there is a problem, then ultimately it comes as an escalation directly to them. So every time you have to maintain a crystal clear communication with the stakeholders, you have to provide regular updates to them. If any challenges are there, you have to provide update. If anything is working fine, you have to provide an update. How many bugs you have found, you have to provide an update. How many test cases were you able to execute, you have to provide an update. So all these things you have to answer. So if this kind of test scenario comes to you in an interview, how would you ensure the reliability of the integration and handle any issues that arise during testing? Then you have to answer in this manner. So documentation, design test cases, perform test testing, communication, so this was the response. Now coming to the second level of response, how about reliability testing? So we'll be seeing the answer of that as well. But before that, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then I'll request you to please hit like, share and subscribe our channel. Also give us some feedback with respect to these kind of scenario based questions. Are these really helpful to you? And also let me know the audio and the video quality. If you are seeing any change in the videos, if you are seeing any kind of uh, problems with the videos or audios and please give a, a transparent feedback in the comment section of the video. Now coming to the second aspect, how will you test the reliability? So with respect to reliability, it is not a one time testing. It is not something if once it is working, it will work. Reliability testing is something that you will be continuing to test the functionality for X number of days, maybe for a week, maybe for a two weeks, maybe for a three weeks. If you are in a product based company, you will have a word with your stakeholders and you will define the period for reliability testing. Why it is necessary to define the period? Because it should not happen that you are trying to shoot some things in the black, right? You don't have to shoot something without any target. There should be some ETA, there should be some timeline associated to it. It should not happen that you are not doing with respect to what your end goal is. Right. So you don't have to go for an unplanned testing. You have to plan such kind of testing that you have to come up with a proper schedule. You have to discuss with your leads, with your managers, and then only you have to take this kind of decisions. So whether two weeks or three weeks or is it four weeks of testing? So maybe every night you will keep that API automation suit to run and you will see how is the reliability for that? Are we getting successful messages every time? So such kind of things are necessary with respect to reliability testing. It should continue to run for X number of days. After X number of days, you will be consolidating the report of pass fail and you will say, okay, out of 20 days of execution, it worked maybe for 18 days. That means you have a 90% of the success criteria with respect to this particular feature. This is how you have to come up with your data. Data is very important with respect to testing because no one would be believing you that you have tested until unless you don't provide some kind of data, some kind of evidence to them. So that remains very vital, right? So uh, this was one of the interview question that you can get with respect to test scenario. You are testing a mobile application that requires seamless integration with third party APIs. How would you ensure the reliability and handle any issues that arise during the testing? If there are any issues that arise during testing, so you'll communicate with the development team, you'll get them fixed, you will retest them, you'll update your test cases with the pass fail status and you'll move on with the cycle. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.